Hey everybody, this is Danette. Last night we had our On Guard focus class. We discussed the On Guard product line. Wanted to jump on and do a quick recap for those of you that weren't able to make it to keep you in the loop so you're not missing out on anything. So when we talk about the immune system, we talk about um, keeping ourselves healthy during the fall and winter season. Uh, there's um, some other foundational things that are really important that I want to discuss quickly before we jump into the on guard line. So everyone knows that um, in order to keep yourself healthy and in balance, it's really um, whole health, right? So there's some foundational blocks that have to be in place to keep your immune system working optimally for yourself. So we're going to touch briefly on those foundational blocks that are going to help keep your immune system completely focusing um, and in charge of what it's supposed to do um, at the best of its abilities. Okay, so sleep. You guys need to be making sure, I kind of sound like a broken record, uh, getting um, eight hours of restful sleep is going to be a game changer in keeping yourself healthy during the cold and flu season, especially for children. Children really need nine to 10 hours um, so their bodies can recharge at night. There are a whole list of oils that can help with sleep, just to name a few. Uh, my favorites are vetiver, aroma touch, Cedarwood, Juniper Berry, Roman Chamomile, Serenity, Balance, the Serenity Soft Gels. Uh, those are just a, so a few of my favorites, okay? We could do a whole, an, a whole entire class just on sleep and all of the products that doTERRA has that can help benefit um, your restful night sleeping. Okay, the next one is exercise. Uh, it's really important that you move your body. It helps with the lymphatic system. It helps to uh, improve the detox uh, process in your body. So um, just start out small. It doesn't mean that you have to start, you know, doing triathlons and running marathons. Just getting out and doing a brisk walk, um, elevating your heart rate just a little bit, um, some jumping jacks, some jump, jump roping, um, going for a bike ride, if you like swimming, doing some sort of physical activity during the day is going to help your body be prepared for um, fighting off any illness that it comes in contact with because it's hard work for your body to, um, to do what it needs to do to keep you from getting sick. Uh, the next one is nutrition. Food is medicine. So trying to avoid processed food, um, trying to avoid any artificial sweeteners, um, really eating whole foods. And the best practice uh, that you really should follow is eating foods that are in season. So right now it's gonna be coming into fall. So a lot of squashes, a lot of pumpkins, um, a lot of spices, nutmeg, cinnamon, um, avoiding any uh, flowers, any sugars, any um, sweeteners that you're adding in, and really just trying to follow a whole food diet and getting good fats in your system. So a lot of ghee, which is clarified butter, a lot of nuts, um, really just paying attention to what you're putting in your body. You're gonna notice an increase in how your body is able to fight off any um, illness that it comes in contact with. Uh, the next one is emotional, uh, emotional stress, how you're handing, handling stress, how you're dealing with stress. Are you hanging on to anger? Are you able to let things go? Are you not getting um, really worked up about small things? Your emotional health is probably one of the top really important things that people need to pay attention to and they it seems to get brushed uh, to the side and people don't take emotional health and the, the stress level that you're under uh, into account when you're run down and really trying to just take a minute to really reevaluate. Is it really something that you should be that stressed out about? And five years from now, 10 years from now, is this issue that you're thinking about really going to make a difference? Uh, if not, uh, really working on being mindful to let a lot of things go. Um, the next one is your toxic load. So are you, um, do you have a lot of candles in your home? Or do you have a lot of um, harsh chemicals? What is your skincare like? What's your um, hair care like? What kind of uh, additives are you putting in your food? Um, all of those things come into account with your toxic load and it really bogs down the chemical response that your brain can have in your body and what kind of messages it is relaying. And when you get a lot of those artificial 
beneficial um, scents and fragrances and chemicals, it's uh, hormone disrupting in your body, uh, which that means is it's really hard when you have those disruptors in for your body to communicate properly. So doing a detox and really getting rid of those um, chemical overload that your body has is going to allow effective communication in your body. So that's like the, uh, doTERRA has a 30 day detox, doing an Epsom salt soak in the bathtub um, with some oils, uh, really trying to only stay in for about 20 minutes. Uh, what happens is your pores open, you're gonna be detoxing everything out. If you sit longer, you're basically just reinviting those toxins back in. So if, you're, if your purpose of your bath is to do a detox, uh, only stay 20 minutes. I like to do a basin of water when I'm sitting at the computer Epsom salt, uh, zendocrine, and cilantro are two great oils to use. Cilantro is amazing for pulling out any heavy metals. So when I'm working on the computer, nice basin of Epsom salt, warm water with those oils in it, soak my feet for 20 minutes, and I try to really do that about once a week. So when we're talking about whole health, you have to pay attention to your sleep. What's your exercise routine? What's your nutrition like? How's your emotional stress? How are you dealing with stressful situations? And what's your toxic load like, okay? So you have to pay attention to all of that stuff when you're, when you're trying to build up your immune system. And then the doTERRA On Guard product line uh, is kind of like the cherries on the top. So these are going to be the added benefits that are going to work nicely in with the rest of those foundational things. So I'm going to quickly go through the uh, On Guard product line, how we use them in our home, and some tips and some uh, most uh, asked questions that I get about the product line. So um, I'm just going to start with the On Guard foaming uh, concentrate. I don't have the concentrate with me because it's on order for um, next month because I'm out. But uh, when you order the On Guard foaming hand soap, this is the dispenser uh, that it comes with. I think it's about two dollars. And then you're going to get the concentrate, okay? There's no directions on there. So it's a little bit confusing for people on how to use the On Guard Foaming Hand Concentrate. This is what I tell people. You could fill it up all the way to the top if you would like. That's completely safe. If you would like to stretch it just a tad bit, it is a concentrate. So what I like to do is fill um, to the top of the label with the On Guard concentrate and then fill up the rest with water. So that's what I do when we use it. I have one in the bathroom, I have one in the kitchen, um, all the bathrooms in the home. So one other quick tip that I like to do with the On Guard foaming hand wash is if there's any stains on the carpet, this is a great carpet cleaner. So just a couple pumps on there, it's gonna kind of foam up and sit on top of the carpet, let it sit for a little while, uh, get a damp cloth, and then wipe up any of the stain that's on the carpet. It also is phenomenal for any stains on clothing. So just a quick tip for that. Uh, the next one is the cleaner concentrate. You guys, this is phenomenal. It takes two tablespoons of the cleaner concentrate in a gigantic sprayer. So this is a 25 fluid ounce sprayer. I'll do two tablespoons of the On Guard concentrate, and then I add oregano into the cleaner concentrate uh, you guys have probably heard Noah did a science experiment back when he was in kindergarten and we did Petri dishes and we put in Lysol 409 and bleach on guard and oregano in the Petri dishes, swiped it with the, the Q-tip with the bacteria on it from the toilet and the three harsh chemical cleaners that we did was completely full of bacteria. The on guard had a little tiny bit of bacteria around the edge and the Petri dish with the oregano had absolutely no bacteria in there. So I will not buy Lysol bleach 409. It is a complete waste of money. It's not killing the germs and bacteria in your home. It's basically just affecting your respiratory system and burning your eyes and uh, give, giving you a toxic overload in your home. So I love that this On Guard Cleaner Concentrate makes about 14, um, I can refill this 14 times. So and I think this is $14 uh, wholesale, not for sure, but um, very inexpensive when you look at how much you can make. You can also uh, do your dish soap. So you can put uh, the dish soap in the sink, wash your dishes. When I make my dishwasher tabs, I use the On Guard Cleaner. That's one of the ingredients in the dishwasher tabs. So I love that. Uh, next one in the On Guard line is the laundry detergent. So this is six times ultra concentrated. This will do 64 high efficiency large loads. It takes a fourth of a cap 
of the laundry detergent in your washing machine. And when we were at the on guard class, uh, or the on guard class last night, there was a, a wellness advocate there, Jonathan, and he told me something pretty cool that in your regular laundry detergent, your commercial laundry detergent that you're using, it actually has clay in it. Um, and that sticks inside your washing machine, which is going to cause wear and tear, and it's going to cause the breakdown of your washing machine. It's also very damaging to your clothing. So I had no idea that they had clay in laundry detergent. So another reason to ditch your commute commercial laundry detergent and switch over to an all natural product um, like the doTERRA cleaner. This also is great for any stains on clothing. Um, put a little bit on there, scrub it, let it soak for a little while, pops stains out uh, very nicely on clothing. So uh, the On Guard cleaner is phenomenal. Um, okay, the next one is the whitening, the natural whitening on guard toothpaste. This was a little hard for me to use at first because it doesn't foam up or give you that strong minty taste like a Crest or a Colgate does. So in my head, it wasn't getting my teeth clean because it wasn't foaming up and I, it didn't burn my mouth from the peppermint. Um, so it has clove in it, which is in the on guard line, which is gonna help boost the immune system. Clove is a very powerful antioxidant. That's why it's one of the most um, important oils in the on guard blend. The nice thing about this is it's fluoride free. So it is gonna be safe for little ones if they're requiring a fluoride free toothpaste. And uh, another tip, if anyone has any teething babies, Clove has, is a little bit of a numbing um, response to it. So a little bit of on guard whitening toothpaste on your finger and then rub it over the gums. It's gonna provide a soothing numbing uh, effect to any of those little ones that have some teeth popping in. Uh, the next one is the On Guard hand sanitizer. You guys, this is great. I have it in my car, in my backpack, in my gym bag. Noah has one in his backpack when I travel. Um, I have one in, in my travel bag. And it is just a quick spritz. Rub your hands together, it dries. When I go to the uh, Walmart or Hy-Vee, the grocery store, I'm gonna spray the shopping cart handle. Any of those Purell's, those hand sanitizers that you guys um, were really popular years ago, they are full of toxic chemicals. They don't even kill the bacteria. It is a giant waste of money. The only thing that it's doing is causing a toxic overload in your body and disrupting that hormone, the chemical response in your body, which is leading to a whole other issue of problems. So this is great. Safe for kids, um, we take it to the park, to the picnic, uh, fantastic. Um, okay, so the On Guard oil. So it comes in a 15 milliliter um, drop like this. Remember there's 250 drops in a 15 mil bottle. It also comes in the On Guard touch roller. So this is probably one the, the way that I use it the most because it's super easy and convenient. Um, swipe it on the wrist back of the neck, down the spine, bottoms of the feet. Anytime we get ready to leave the house, um, Noah goes to school, we get ready to go to dinner, we're going out in public anywhere. It is essential that everyone puts on on guard so our body is fully armed and ready to protect ourselves if anything that we come in contact with. Okay, um, another way that you can use on guard is it is safe to use all three ways. So aromatically, topically, and internally. So you could put it in water, gargle it, which is great if anyone has any sore, itchy um, throat that's causing them con some concern. Put a little couple drops of on guard in there, um, gargle it and spit it out. And just found out yesterday that they're coming out with an on guard mouthwash, which is pretty cool because a lot of people have just been gargling with the on guard and now they don't have to because they have come up with their own mouthwash, which is super exciting. Um, another way to use on guard is in veggie caps. So veggie caps are those little vegetarian caps. Put a couple drops of the on guard in there and take it internally. If you're not interested in making your own veggie caps, there is the on guard plus. Now this has, this is like on guard plus. Why they named it On Guard Plus, brilliant, right? Because they have added some additional oils into this. So there is added black pepper, they've added melissa, and oregano. So this is the powerhouse for if you're feeling something 
uh, coming on. You maybe your spouse is sick, maybe your coworker is sick, maybe you've been around a lot of people that are uh, not feeling the best. This is going to be what you're going to want to take when the first signs of feeling under the weather start to come in. So the, the eyes start to water, the nose starts to run, the throat starts to feel scratchy, the body temperature starts to go up. If you know something's coming, uh, taking two of these for 10 days is going to effectively help your body get rid of whatever is invading and causing those symptoms to come up. So the On Guard Oil, this is gonna be your everyday, this is gonna be your prevention, your protective uh, oil. The On Guard Plus, this is gonna be only used for a short amount of time if you are feeling under the weather or you've been in contact with someone that possibly has something that they could give you, okay? Um, they also have the on guard beadlets. So those are just little, I don't have them with me. They're just the little on guard, they're little tiny um, beadlets. And there's about one drop of on guard in that. So that's great to take if you're traveling. Um, I like to put it in my purse, use it as a breath mint. I'm gonna pop it in my mouth and then pop it and you'll get that clove, wild orange, cinnamon uh, taste in your mouth. So it's just a great quick when you're out and about and you really don't have the oils with you, which I always have them with me in my purse, but if you don't carry them around, Around, uh, like I do, the On Guard beadlets. They also have peppermint beadlets. Those are great to carry in your purse. Super easy, safe for kids. Um, they're little tiny, so uh, kids have no problem at all swallowing those. So I'm um, trying to make sure that I covered everything. We talked about the laundry detergent, the cleaner concentrate. Oh, the On Guard throat drops. Uh, these are another great thing to have around. Um, if you're having, again, any soreness in the throat, any um, coughing, irritation, uh, and you just need like, um, it would be like a Halls or a Vicks uh, replacement for one of those. I remember back when I was little and I would have a sore, irritated throat, I would have to use uh, chloroseptic spray and it would make my tongue numb and it tasted awful because it was cherry. I can't stand the taste of cherry. Uh, I, I did not like it at all. So this is going to provide, because it has that clove, it's going to provide that numbing, soothing um, benefit that you need if your throat is feeling irritated and dry from coughing. Uh, maybe you talk too much and you need to uh, soothe and support the throat. These are phenomenal. I love to take these when I'm traveling. When I, As soon as I get on an airplane, this is the first thing that I'm going to put in my mouth and I'm going to have one in the whole entire time that I'm on a plane because you know they use recirculated air on an airplane and the, nine times out of ten, once you got off an airplane, you're probably going to get some sort of bug or something while you're on there. So going into the airplane, knowing that you need to be armed, ready, and protected to provide optimal support to your body is key in keeping yourself healthy. If you travel frequently, or now that uh, fall's coming, Thanksgiving and Christmas, there's a lot of uh, increased travel time, make sure that you're ready to um, fully support your body. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick recap of the On Guard line and how to boost your immune system. Like always, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, um, you'd like a little bit more information, make sure you comment below. And all of our friends in the Oil Place Village would be happy to comment and answer your questions. Thanks, guys, and have a great Friday.